Hi everyone. So, um, it's Project Tampan update time. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I am, I am pretty sure I'm going to be done by this before Christmas. Um, I only have two things left. <clears throat> I have two things left, and it's just getting close to my deadline. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to um, update you guys on what I finished and what I'm not finished. So I might as well show you the things I'm not done yet since there's only two things. Um, and that is my lipstick and my foundation. Um, I've been scraping out of this tube for like past two months almost three months. I don't know how long I've been doing this. I've, I lost track. But, um, I have, a lipstick, I have a lipstick on, and every video that I film, I'm wearing the same lipstick because I'm trying to use this guy up. Um, I would say, maybe some of you guys would say that, that toothpaste, or toothpaste, I, why I keep saying toothpaste? Have I said toothpaste? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, this lipstick, um, I am just scraping. You can see inside um, already the the emptiness or the bottom of the lipstick, and I'm just scraping it out. Um, it is a really pretty lipstick, and it's one of my favorites. It's just you know I want to be done by this, and I only have like a little bit left, only the edges, as you can see. Um, but yeah, so I have that done, or almost I almost done with that, and my foundation from CoverGirl. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, this is like the window of, um, this window basically tells you how much you have left, and I'm already at the bottom of it, but as I can see, um, through the plastic that I have from there, oops, from there, that's, um, where the foundation is right now, so I'm gonna have to cut this open and scoop out whatever I have left, and, um, yeah, so that's almost exciting. <laughs> okay, so the things that I'm done with that are originally from my Project Tan Pan is, um, okay, the shampoo. I'm done with this. Yay! Um, love the shampoo. Um, I don't think they sell this anymore. Like, they always, a well, they, which I mean by Avon, um, always, like, changes their products, and they're always adding new things and taking stuff out, like, discontinuing stuff. So, I don't know if they discontinued this or they just remodeled the shampoo. I would have to check on their catalog or their brochure, I mean. And this is a really good shampoo. I love it. Um, it smells good. It, I don't know. There's, not, there's a lot of things I can say about it, but I don't want to see that to be long. Okay, and an uh, Avon face cream. Okay, I don't know why I did not take that out. Like, I seriously don't know what I'm doing. Okay, here it is. Okay, the, the face cream, I am done. Um, scooped it all out. Well, there's some right there. Um, but anyways, I use the last bit of this, um, for body lotion, because I was just getting fed up already. Like, I, when am I going to finish this? Because this was a big, as you can see, it's a big tube, and there's, there was a lot of, um, face cream in it, so I just used the last bit, um, as body lotion. And it worked fine. Like, I didn't see a difference between face cream and body lotion, but it moisturized my skin. And, um, what else? The Mark Overnight Liquid, which is, where are you? Oh, I should have been more prepared for this video. Like, why didn't I do this before? Um, okay, here it is. Um, this is the Overnight Liquid. What you do is you clean, oh, you clean, you cleanse your face and, um, like, you do your routine, basically, and then before you moisturize, which I would do before I would apply moisturizer um, is that I would apply this and it's ba it was basically a gel like a clear gel and it had like it had like some um, I don't know like something in there that would like that would while you're sleeping it would like like cleanse your um, acne I guess or treat your acne like an overnight treatment and that was this is what it is I guess um, it's an overnight liquid acne treatment. That's what it is. So, yeah, I would apply this on, and then I would apply my moisturizer, which was this. And, yeah, um, it worked fine. I'm sad that Mark discontinued this. Like, they have a new acne line now. So, I would have to find something else to replace this, or, yeah, I don't know. It was a really good acne treatment, like, overnight thing. So, um, what else? Okay, Sephora body wash, and that was 
is it or that was this is it um it's a shampoo a shower gel and bubble bath i basically used it um the first two which is a shampoo and shower gel um for shampoo it wasn't that bad um but i did think it did dry my hair my hair out a little bit like i did pair these two out or pair these two together so i can use them up faster and i i love because it left my hair smelling like cupcakes like it's a birthday scent, like cupcakes and vanilla. And it did leave my hair smelling good, but I think it wasn't meant for long, wavy, natural hair. I don't know. Um, but shower gel, it worked as it worked fine as a shower gel. Like, there's nothing bad to say about that. Um, but I did use it up, so yay. Okay, um, Avon cleanser, um, which is this. I cut the tube open, and you can see it's empty. Um... It was, like, Avon's cleansers, like, acne cleansers are really, really good. I would recommend it for someone who, like, not sure what to use for acne. Like, they have a step-by-step -step line, like, one, two, three, four, like, step one, step two, step three. And, um, they have different lines for, like, blemishes, for dry skin, and for blackhead problems and stuff like that. This is for, um, blemishes. This is a blemish clearing line. So, this. And this is one um one uh is a part of one line which is a blemish clearing line, and um, this is also I finished this so I did finish these, finish these two together and I already ran out of my other one so I need to order another one unless we have one hiding somewhere I don't know, but these two are really really good if you have like problem with um, blemishes and it does clear up or it did clear up my skin, so I just finished these two um. So, yeah, 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 okay, I'll just show you my foundation, um, I finished my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, and I'm so sad, because this is a really good, um, setting spray, and, um, it lasts, like, like, it literally helped my skin not to break out the oil, um, and I don't know if I want to buy another one because this costed ten dollars. I guess it is worth ten dollars if you like use a little bit because a little bit goes a long way. And it says here to use three to four sprays, and I think that's too much. Um, that's too much for me. Like one spray did go a long way. Maybe one and a half pump. Um, but I wouldn't say three or four sprays at a time because that would this wouldn't last me four months or maybe more than it did when I bought it. So this is a really good um product. Um maybe I'll get it for Christmas. I don't know. I'm like I'm not really sure. I don't know if I wanna spend thirty dollars for this. Like I'm I'm I noticed there's other videos on how to make a setting spray. So that's also another idea, another alternative is to make my homemade um setting spray. Um but yeah, so this is done. And um what else? I finished that little eyeshadow, and I can't find it anywhere. Where is that? Oh, here it is. Okay. I did finish this eye set. Ah, la, la, la. Okay. I did finish this um, blue eyeshadow that I have right now. This was the last time I fin uh, used it. And I've been loving that color, this um, blue eyeshadow. If you see my previous videos, you know what blue eyeshadow I'm talking about. Like, I've been using it as a bottom eyeshadow color, um, just to give my eye color a pop. And it's a really, I'm pretty sure you cannot see it. You can kind of see it. It kind of looks green and blue at the same time, but it's such a pretty color. Um, I have other alternatives for this eyeshadow, like um, Peace by Urban Decay. And um, so, yeah, I finished this. And other things I'm going to show you guys that were not part of my Hot Team Pan. Um, well, I guess they kind of were. My sister's laughing randomly at the video. Anyway. Uh, I did say that whatever I finished during this challenge, that I would add it to my P10P. And, yeah, so I'm just going to show you the things that I finished during my P10P. Uh, I did finish these um, Dollar Tree makeup wipes. Um, one was 40 the other was 30 These are really good. I personally like this one better, which is the 30 one, than this one, because the cloth in this one was thicker and more durable, where this one was just, like, really thin and... Um, ripped, like whenever you like try to cleanse your skin, it would rip. Um, but these are really good for, I mean, for a dollar, not that bad, but right now I'm using e.l.f. So it's one dollar or three dollar makeup wipes, I'm not really sure, and I really like those. So, that is that, and 
Um, I also finished, I showed you guys this before, the, um, for the bottom half of this. Anyway, this is, I finished two of the, um, Clean and Clear, Clean Cleanser Oil Free Line, or cleansers, I guess you can say. I finished two of them, and I scooped them out. So, there's that. Um, I also finished, um, my Sweetie Pie, um, shower jelly from Lush, and I'm keeping this container just in case. I might eat it some other time. I always do that for some re reason. And I finished, um, the OPI Start to Finish Base and Top Coat. This wasn't that bad. Um, it, it, like, it kind of cost too much for what it really is. Like, it didn't really help my nail polish stay on longer than it should be. Um, like, my nail polish would just chip, like, three days after. And I do apply taco, like, every other day just to help my nail polish last longer. And this kind of didn't really help. I don't know if I will repurchase this. But, um, it was fine. I guess I'm, there's nothing special about it. Or there's nothing special to say about it. I keep touching my hair. I don't know why. Okay, anyway. Um, and I finished Avon's Nail Pro Cotton Candy um, Nail Polish. And it's basically a baby pink color. This is a really pretty color. Um, and, yeah, it just was on its last limb the last time I used it. As you can see, it's kind of, like, stringy and weird. I don't know. It's dried up. So, yay. There's that. Um... I finished this really old sample of um, the Annie's Annie's uh, perfume, and I um, tested it out at Target, the perfume, because this is like a little sample of the body wash, and I really like it, but it's really mature scent, like mature old lady scent, but um, I'm not going to use that word, I feel it's kind of degrading, <laughs> so I'm going to use mature, um, mature scent. And it's very florally, very um, woodsy almost. And I kind of like it. But, um, yeah, I finished the sample. And blah, 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 blah. Uh, what else? I finished this candle by Bean Pod Soy Candles. And this was an apr uh, apricot scent. And, yeah, it was basically done, like, three hours later after the first time I used it. So, and it smells really good. Um, I also finished this Avon Nail Experts Gold Strength. I kn mentioned this in my, one of my videos, I can't remember. Um, I think it was my November favorites. I don't remember. It was, like, not that long ago. But, yeah, I finished that. I finished the Garnier Fructis um, Active Fruit Concentrate Forti Fortifying Deep Conditioner 3-Minute Miracle. And I really like this um, for really long, um wavy natural hair that I have, it did nourish it, like, did help it refine the hair. And then, I, this was basically on its last limb, um, when the last time I used it, it's all dried up, it's very, very crusty, um, this is the Avon Nail Expert UV Gloss Top Coat, um, yeah, so, it's dried up, and I, that is done, that's dead, and then I finished it in another toothpaste, so, that is my whole project tin pan. Um, yeah, so I am so excited. I'm almost done. I have two products left. I guess you guys would consider this done, but for me, I just have like a little bit more to go. Um, stretch out the dollar. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.